Hey, what's up everyone? It's so Alter Tech back again with a new video. And today we have some crazy exciting news. Carl Pay now owns Essential. And this is big news because Carl Pay is the founder or one of the founders of OnePlus. And as you guys know, all your fan OnePlus fanboys out there, you guys know this, you know how much Carl Pay means or meant to OnePlus. So for him to go out and do his own thing, you know, it was kind of interesting. We thought he was doing some kind of, you know, new headphones, but this could be bigger than anything we've seen in the smartphone industry you know the smartphone the evolution is complete now we're gonna have you know foldable tablet phone no you know the smartphone is complete this is as good as it gets and for one plus you know i'm a big essential fan as well i really respected the fast software updates you know it was owned by andy rubin who was, you know, he was working with Google at the time, or he's a founder of Google, something like that. So he was, he had an expert team to push out fast, timely software updates on this phone. And his phone was rocking. Um, and I was hoping OnePlus would eventually, uh, someday, you know, reach that peak where they could, you know, release fast software updates and, you know, have everything running really damn good. But things, guys, OnePlus fans, you guys, a lot of you guys get offended when I, you know, when I say anything negatively about OnePlus. And for me personally, if you want change, you got to call it how it is. I mean, if I want to see some changes, you know, I'm going to say, hey, I wish this was, you know, this was better. So for OnePlus, their software updates, their quality of the software updates as well has been going down. I'm not going to fault the coworkers. It's just that, you know, maybe the business is lo losing money. Maybe they just don't have the resources to keep up. It is what it is. But for Carl Pay to leave and to for him to to get essential, you know, if if this all works out the way how it could work out this is going to smash the smartphone industry because the problem with android is privacy we don't have it's nowhere near as good as what the iphone offers i mean for example with the iphone i had no idea instagram had access to you know every single photo if you gave it to them now with android you have the option of you know selecting either all of the photos or none of the photos so android is very very much behind you know there's more examples as well so for carl pay as well you know for him to see, you know see that there was an issue in the market there was a need in the market for people to go ahead and say hey we want to use smartphones but we don't want to be you know in in you know addicted to smartphones like how we are today with like just zombies just with their heads down you know our postures are, are getting fucked up it, it's it's crazy so for carl pay for him, you know, if he if everything goes according to plan right now, this guy could perhaps build not the be the best new device or next best thing from a smartphone. I mean, I have no idea what to expect, what's coming out from uh, you know Car Pay's mind, but if he gets a hold of Essentials, you know, software team and hardware team, the same team that was able to build the Essential phone. And incorporate that with his you know new designs or you know his ideas this could be big and he already has some you know big names for him you know investors backing him up i mean for these guys to go ahead and you know, want to spend all these you know millions of dollars on carl pay this has to be something really good so um now on the downside guys you know what what could you know maybe it's just you know maybe it's fluff maybe it's just you know maybe it's not a big deal because what if you know the same software designers hardware designers maybe they've well most of them haven't probably moved on maybe he's not able to get a hold of them maybe he's not able to you know have the same resources that the that made essential a great brand so what does he what did he you know pick up from what's left of essential that's the main question we do not know and we don't know exactly how his you know technology um, future devices how it's going to affect our lives that's a big question mark so guys this is a huge gamble you know if if this was in the stock market right now this is a huge gamble we have no idea the the potential is huge and you know could this be a fluke i mean it's always that you know there's always that question as to how the consumer will perceive you know or accept these new you know technological devices so, you know, we have to wait and find out. But right now, you know, Carl Pay, you know, I wish him the best of luck. And as for OnePlus fans, you guys have to be moaning right now. You guys have to be moaning because 
damn, this is something special. You wish that this this was with OnePlus. And with OnePlus, uh, you know, the OnePlus 9 Pro series, that's going to really, you know, decide whether or not, you know, where OnePlus stands in the future. Are they just going to just, you know, recycle Oppo products and just slap on Oxygen OS and just, you know, the, the Logan slogan is never settle. And there's some things we do settle with, for example, the camera system and the updates. But either way, the performance of the phone, the design of the phone, I think that's where, Carl, where, where Pete Lau comes in. When it comes to the overall design, you know, hardware look of the OnePlus, uh, let's say the Pro series, the, the higher end flagships. As for the Nord series, that's just a recyclable, you know, um, Oppo product. But for the OnePlus phones, that's where I think Pete Lau actually has his, you know, fingerprints on. And they, they look, these phones perform really good and they they look pretty good. And the the overall build quality has been excellent. But there's more to just hardware. There is a software aspect to this. And if, you know, we have no idea how much of the software side Carl has been um, a part of. So, you know, moving forward, how these phones you know perform over time you know maybe maybe pete is able to go ahead and provide us some exceptional camera performance that that would be a big boost uh for the oneplus moving forward and you know for the software updates you know we have to wait and see right now i am going to guess that they're following the motorola business model and that's going to provide less fast software updates you have to settle with you know two months of software updates but if once you say, you know, you understand that this is what OnePlus is, it's not really going to bother you. But once you tell people OnePlus offers fast software updates and they don't get fast software updates, that's where you're going to have a, an angry, you know, uh, consumer uh, base. But anyways, this is some crazy, exciting news from Carl Pay. I wish him the best of luck. If you guys have any questions or comments, please hit me up down below. Can you imagine Essential coming back with the fast updates, with a, a intense privacy, you know, experience that's unheard of in the android marketplace and something that's revolutionary and that it just makes our lives more better anyways guys please subscribe hit that like button appreciate it hope you guys have a great and wonderful day take care peace